Welcome to the Sunday Update. I'm Abby Dinham. The death toll from a Russian missile strike on Ukraine's southern city of Odessa has risen to eight, including a three-month-old baby. Officials say a military facility and two residential buildings have been hit. It comes as Ukrainian soldiers released a video of women and children purportedly sheltering at a steel plant in Mariupol. President Vladimir Zelensky says he's willing to meet with Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin to end the war. There is a diplomatic way and a military way. So any healthy person would always choose a diplomatic way because this can stop the losses. That translation from Sky. More than 100 people have been killed in an explosion at an illegal oil refining depot in Nigeria's Rivers State. Illegal refineries tap crude oil from the pipelines of major oil companies to be refined into products in makeshift tanks. This is the second fatal explosion in recent months. Back home, police are appealing for information after a man was kidnapped and assaulted in Westmead last night. The 46-year-old was dragged into a white van around 8.40pm as he walked down the street. He was beaten and robbed before being left on the side of the road in Maryland's. Victoria's $580 million COVID quarantine facility has doubled its capacity, just as demand for beds is expected to plummet. Changes to quarantine rules this weekend means the purpose-built 1,000-bed hub will no longer need to take international arrivals. Just 200 travellers have used the facility since it opened two months ago. Prime Minister Scott Morrison ended his second week of the campaign trail with a late-night visit to church. The PM and wife Jenny attended a traditional Easter midnight mass at the Cogra Greek Orthodox Church, while opposition leader Anthony Albanese spent another night in isolation with COVID. Treasury spokesman Jim Chalmers says Mr Albanese is feeling knocked around by the virus but is broadly OK. And the Brisbane home that was transformed into the iconic cottage from the cartoon series Bluey has sold at auction for one8 $8 million. While the selling agent was forbidden from linking the house in any way to the popular kids' cartoon, the sale has netted the owner more than a million dollars profit. To sport, West Tigers have won their second game for the NRL season, beating the Rabbitohs 23-22 in a nail-biter. Coach Michael Maguire says the work's finally paying off. The belief around the group is obviously continually grows off the back of performances like that. Obviously, you know, two big teams in the last couple of weeks, so it's, uh, it's important for us. In the AFL, Fremantle had an impressive 35-point win against Carlton last night. Melbourne United has been rocked with their biggest loss of the season by the Tasmania Jack Jumpers in the NBL. And the Central Coast Mariners have prevailed over the Jets 4-2 to hold on to their place in the top six in the A-League. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.